people ask me, where did this story come from? What do you have in common with an African-American girl from 1932 G's Bend? And there are many answers to that question, but the one that is most at the heart of this novel is the fact that I am the daughter of a seamstress. And I went to sleep many nights to the hum of a sewing machine just like this one. And I watched my mama create amazing works of art out of plain pieces of fabric, much like the quilters from G's Bend. And like Ludelphia, it was my mama who first taught me how to stitch. It was my mama that first taught me how to stitch, just like her mama taught her. I still remember the first time she let me hold a needle with my own fingers. It was a few weeks after the accident that made my eye cloud over and stop seeing things. It wasn't nobody's fault about my eye. It was just a sliver of hickory that went flying from Daddy's axe and had to go and land square in my eye. I was a little bitty girl, not even in school yet, but I still remember the way my eye burned like it happened just this morning. And I remember how soon as I wasn't in pain no more, Mama started teaching me all sorts of things. She'd rush through the washing then sit down beside me. Them fields ain't the place for you, Ludelphia, Mama said. Not with that eye. Mama pulled some scraps of cloth from her quilting basket. Most of them was ripped into squares. You got to learn to do quiet things, ladylike things. Mama laid out a few pieces and handed me the rest. First thing you got to do is sort the colors. You put the reds in one stack, the blues in another. She watched while I sorted. I didn't say nothing because it wouldn't have been ladylike, but I didn't see no point in sorting. Seemed to me some of the best things just happened with no order to them at all. Then Mama, she believed in having a plan. That's good, Ludelphia, real good. Now comes the hard part. You see this needle? It's real sharp and I ain't got no thimble to fit your little finger. So you got to be careful. Mama held the needle between her finger and thumb as she licked the end of the thread. Then she handed them both to me. I'd watched her enough times to know the next thing I needed to do was push that thread right through the eye of the needle. I may have only one eye that works, but I got to tell you, it works real good. So that's Ludelphia. And my mama might say that Ludelphia and I have a little attitude in common as well. We'll have to ask her.